Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Morgan. So, how have y'all been? What's going on? What's popping? Um, I it, it's Sunday. Happy Sunday. But um, I was like, let me go ahead and make a video about a book I just read because I am been doing homework all day and I kind of just want to do something else. So I thought, well, why not do this? Um, so I recently read The Woman in Me by Britney Spears. It was so good and I love when, I haven't read, I haven't read a ton of memoirs, but I love when they're super short. I don't know if that's like normal, but if it's like less than seven hours, thank you. <laughs> um, so hers was pretty short. It might've been like five hours, maybe, maybe, maybe six. Um, but I was so interested in getting my hands on this book. I actually listened to it on audio. But I was so interested because I don't know a lot about Britney Spears. Like Britney Spears wasn't my, like, I don't know. She, I guess she just wasn't in my fucking era. So I don't know, I don't really know anything about her. Um, I knew like two songs and that's like it. And so I was just really looking forward to diving into her life. Um, and it really was so interesting. I have to say the fucking book started off so strong talking about her grandparents. Like the first chapter she goes into it and she's like, yeah, well, my grandpa put my grandma in a crazy house after she lost after they lost their son i was like what and then she was like and after my grandma got out she killed herself at their son's grave site and i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> just really threw me for a loop and i was very you know not ready for that but it was like her way of kind of setting up her grandparents and getting us to understand kind of how her parents were raised and how that influenced how they raised her. So I respected that. I really liked it. I gave it a four stars. Um, let me read some quotes that I liked. Um, here's one. The saddest part to me was that what I always wanted was a dad who would love me as I was. Somebody who would say, I just love you. You could do anything right now. I'd still love you with unconditional love. And I think that really spoke to me because I think it's so easy to look at your life and like not really see how good you have it. And looking through life, looking at life through someone else's lenses and seeing how they are raised and the things that they've had to go through. <clears throat> really makes it easier for me to understand how good I have it. And it really sucks that not everybody has the opportunity to be raised by um, loving people who are, you know, selfless and have your best interests at heart. That made me pretty sad. It's like being that whole book and all the shit that her father did to her. Just all the stupid things. I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, am I gonna spoil it? Fuck okay. it. Just like random shit when she was like, I came over to her parents, to her parents were to like hang out, but it was an ambush. And there were like helicopters around her, around the property coming to get her, to put her in a crazy house, like a rehab center for like no reason. And then that leading into a conservatorship where she has no freedom. She can't decide what she eats, when she eats, when she performs, what she performs. She can't see her kids. She can't, you know, have her own money. She gets an allowance. She can't go anywhere alone. <sighs> no. No, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. And then to be hounded by the press for whatever random reasons they want to bring up while you're going through that has got to be so fucked up. And to be completely honest, random clips and like articles I've read recently about 
her weird behavior and just weird things she's done, I'm thinking to myself, how could you not be fucking weird? I'd be a shit show if all that if all those things happened to me. I'd be an actually crazy person. So I am not even gonna talk about her that way right now, cause because I'd be crazy too. <laughs> um, also, what's the motherfucker's name? NSYNC guy? What the fuck is his name? Goodness gracious, how do you spell NSYNC? Oh my god, I can't right now. Okay, um, Justin Timberlake. Sorry, I could not think of his fucking name. Anyways. Fuck Justin. He's an asshole. It just is. That's just what it is. I mean, this isn't the first time we've heard weird shit about Justin, okay? Forget about all the Britney shit. What about the shit where he was doing a movie and he was like canoodling with some random co-star when he has a whole wife and child at home? Did y'all forget about that? I mean, we are forgetting that this man is just, he just does weird things, okay? He's not trustworthy. Not a good guy. I don't fuck with him at all. <laughs> don't fuck with it. Um, it's actually very, very sad. And then whenever she discussed her abortion and how she always knew she wanted a family and wanted kids, when she found out she was pregnant, she was like, okay, we can do this. You know, I love him. I want kids, so let's do it. And he was just like, no, I don't want kids. Blah, blah, blah. I can't do this. Whatever, whatever. She's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll get an abortion. And the fact that they didn't go to the hospital or a clinic with like a medical professional to help you with that, you just, he like bought her a random pill from who knows where he got it from and was like, here, take this. And she like talks about that scene and she's like, yeah, so I took the pill and I went in the bathroom and it was like the worst pain I'd ever been in. Um... And she was just talking about some being nosy. But um, yeah, she was just talking about the fact that she was in the worst pain ever. <clears throat> and then while she's in the bathroom, Justin comes in with his fucking guitar. Wants to play her a fucking tune. Get the fuck out of here. Really? And then breaks up with her weeks later. <laughs> Sir. Okay. All right, okay. And then that was around the same time he was becoming a solo artist and he came out with his album called Justified. Um, which like, fuck that album. <laughs> Have I heard it? No. Am I going to? No. Um, so yeah. Also, um, I saw a clip of Britney's sister. Her sister's fucking weird. I feel like she really got the short end of the fucking stick with her whole family. There's like no one in that family that she discussed that is like remotely good. That's really sad. <laughs> so sad. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. We do have... Oh yeah, and then she of course talked about the infamous picture where she shaves her head and she's like hitting a car with an umbrella. Yeah, that's like probably the main thing I knew about her before reading the book because I just knew that one picture. And I knew she was a, you know, was a popular like pop star back in the day. Um, but her like telling the story of how she got there, the fact that, you know, she has kids with a man, they're married, they get divorced, he, um, proceeds to get full custody of their children. I don't know the fuck he got that. I don't even know how to... Anyways, so he gets full custody and he won't let her see her kids, like, at all. And of course she loses her shit. And she shaves her head. What about it? She shaves her head. And she fucking, you know, takes an umbrella and starts hitting the paparazzi's car, I guess. But yeah, I mean, that's fucking... Oh, another quote says, If someone took my baby away from me, I would have done a lot more than get a haircut. I would have burned the city to the ground. So I think in that 
um quote she's talking she i think she was like talking to some woman or and the woman said that and so i'm thinking in my head absolutely take my child away from me i'm literally beating your ass i'm kidnapping them i don't give a fuck <laughs> so yeah very interesting um It's actually really funny. After I finished reading the book, I went online to like look up her family on IMDb. Not IMDb, I'm like, you know, Google. And I was, I was sad to hear that her father was still alive. I was sad to hear it, but that, you know, she was like, you know, I was just hoping he was gone, but he's not. So that's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I saw this one clip. Jamie Lynn and she's like y'all may know me from being an actress bitch no we don't Did you have you guys seen that clip with the fucking chin like a Buzz Lightyear chin and she's talking yeah y'all may know me from being an actress no we wouldn't don't stop lying to yourself okay stop lying to yourself you know that's not the answer and I didn't grow up watching um Zoe 101 never seen that show but my roommate has and so it was just funny because like I didn't know who Jamie Lynn was at all I'd seen like a picture of her maybe but you know kind of getting understanding her too was interesting <sighs> but yeah I have to say there are moments in that book where I didn't want to hit play on the audiobook because I was so disgusted by her family and the things that they were doing to her and the things that they were taking away from her it was so unsettling i just didn't even want to finish it she's like i was just grossed out it's sad honestly yeah <laughs> that was the book it was good but it didn't make me happy not that i thought it would and not that it's supposed to it's a memoir I have to say the book is really pretty. Like this is a very, very good picture of her. Um, and if anything, this book really opened me up to like her music because she'll talk about, you know, certain performances she did, you know, recording certain albums. And I'm like, okay, well, I want to know what, that, what they sound like. And so like, I'll pause the book and then look, look up the video that she's referring to and watch it and be like, oh, okay, I understand what you're talking about now. So that's cool. Um, but yes, it was it was a book and I did finish it. And I'm happy that she is no longer in a conservatorship. And that's all I have to say. You guys know, let me know down below what you thought of this book. If you guys have read it. Um, if you guys like knew some of the things that she might have talked about. I don't know if your perspective has changed on her because of this book. I'd love to know. But that's that. Now I like I kind of just need my brain to like recover from how fucked up that book was. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Bye.